गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास टेन साइंस लेसन सिक्स लाइफ प्रोसेस क्लास इन कंटिन्यूशन विद लास्ट टॉपिक लास्ट क्लास इन विच वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट ऑटोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन द टॉपिक मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन टूडे वील स्टडी अबाउट हीट्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन वील स्टडी अबाउट हीट्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग लेट मी शेयर द स्क्रीन विथ यू yes today we'll continue with heterotrophic mode of nutrition what is heterotrophic mode of nutrition see the organisms which depend on organisms which depend on other organisms for the nutrition are called heterotrophs and the mode of nutrition is termed as heterotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophs usually obtain nutrition from plant and animal sources in the form of organic compounds then these organic substances are digested into simple forms and utilized by them for obtaining energy the unused food is generally stored in the form of glycogen and fats example of heterotrophs are all animals all animals including we human beings are heterotrophs fungi most of the bacteria and non green plants the non green plants include insectivorous plants which obtain food by eating insects such as venus fly tribe then uh, pitcher plant sundew they all are insectivorous plants heterotrophs show different modes of nutrition depending upon the type of food available and the process of intake most of the three types of heterotrophs modes of nutrition are holozoic parasitic and saprophytic holozoic see holozoic parasite parasitic and saprophytic it all depends on the type of the food available and the process of the intake first of all we'll study about holozoic mode of nutrition uh animals with holozoic mode of nutrition obtain complex food material by consuming other organisms through ingestion the ingested food is digested and absorbed in the body in a specialized digestive system and undigested and absorbed food part of the food is thrown out of the body by the process of ejection most of the animals such as amoeba insects frog reptiles birds human beings they all show holozoic type of nutrition we will study nutrition in amoeba in detail then saprophytic mode of mode of nutrition saprophytic mode of nutrition means what is saprophytes sapro means rotten and phytes means plants so saprophytes obtain their food from dead and rotten plants and animals or their products and other decaying organic matter means those organisms which obtain their food from dead and rotten plants or plant products or decaying matter are termed as saprophytes and the mode of nutrition is termed as saprophytic mode of nutrition what do these organisms do these organisms secrete enzyme from their body which digest and break down the complex decaying organic matter into simple compounds and the soluble end product are then absorbed by them the soluble end products are the absorbed by them generally by their body surface or through some specialized absorptive structures examples of saprophytes are bacteria fungus such as rhizophores mucus mushroom they all show saprophytic mode of nutrition then the last is parasitic mode of nutrition para means other and cyto means food what is parasitic mode of nutrition those organisms they may include plants animals both obtain food from other living organisms which obtain their food from other living organisms or are called host in the process the parasite is benefited and the host is generally harm parasite is benefited and the host is generally harm you all must have seen cascuta which is also known as amarbale which usually grows in plants it is 
yellow colored leafless stem like structure cascuta it grows on the plants absorbs all its nutrition and the after some time the plant dies the host may be a plant or an animal and the parasites may live within the body if the parasite is living living within the inside the body then they are termed as endoparasites and if they are living outside the body such as mosquito lice they all live outside the body they are termed as ectoparasites common endoparasites are plasmodium flatworm ascaris wild cascuta mosquitoes leeches they are all ectoparasites so to sum up we can say that heterotrophic mode of nutrition is mode of nutrition in which energy is taken from plants and animals by using them as food and three types of heterotrophic nutrition are holozoic parasitic and saprophytic digestion mechanism and chem chemical reduction of ingested food nutrients can which can be then converted to energy by use to sum up i'll in short i'll differentiate between holozoic saprophytic and parasitic mode of nutrition in holozoic animals kill other organisms and consume them then saprophytic they derive their nutrition from already dead and decayed organic matter and in parasitic the parasites obtain its food from the host parasite do causes harm to the host but it may or may not kill the host so i have given you the examples also of all the three modes of nutrition and uh, in holozoic mode of nutrition uh, you can divide uh, animals into three groups such as herbivores carnivores and omnivores you all have know you all know what herbivores are what carnivores are and what omnivores are but i'll in short i'll explain you herbivores those uh, Uh, herbivores are those animals which consume only uh, plant or plant product they only eat plant or plant product and all these cows buffaloes goat sheep horse deer camel elephant they all are herbivores carnivores are those animals which feed on flesh yeah other bod anim, uh, body of other animals for the nutrition they are also called meat or flesh eaters and uh, common examples you all know lion tiger kite snake frog they all are carnivores and omnivore we are omnivore animals which consume plants as well as animals for the nutrition are called omnivores and the common omnivores are crow sparrow dog bear cockroach human beings we all are omnivore saprophytic examples of saprophytes also i have given you mushrooms bacteria the or fungus molds they all are saprophytes and parasites you all know ecto and endoparasites parasites may plant parasites are cascuta amarbale very common uh, plant parasite cascuta or amarbale and animal parasites are lice leech mosquito so in short you should know examples of each type of organism the mode of nutrition which they absorb because it comes in one marker in the next class we will study nutrition in amoeba Thank you and have a nice day.